I seen a lot of face-offs in my time holding this camera. But none like the one you're about to see. Dwayne Bitter versus Ricky Stanbro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face-off documentary. Dwayne Bitter versus Ricky Stanbro. Grab a popcorn. Man, we about to go on it. All right. And here's where I started off. May the 23rd, 2020. Still Alabama. Calm. Lucifer. S10 versus a Malibu. Karma was a you know new new Malibu that you know we don't know where to base it at. I know, you know, in the G bottle where he was the head of the class. Yeah. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Ricky Stanbro. Yeah, this is a bad man here. Yeah. From day one, trying to go. Oh yeah. Good luck, man. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. And at this time, I'd like to introduce you to Dwayne Beardy. Oh yeah. He got a story to tell. Oh, yeah, we got What's up? Now, I can't honestly tell you when they first faced off, when they first made up, you know. But I can tell you, you know, this is the first time I caught these two, you know, in action on camera. Oh, yeah. It will be a race to remember for us, me having, you know, the 6-6 that, the, you know, Having the camera locked in at the 660. Oh, yeah. They're proving to be <laughs> in the right place at the right time. Yeah, big stage, showdown, two of the best drivers in the South. Shoot. I feel like this is how both of them built their name, facing off with each other, you know. On the way to be good, to beat somebody good. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. See how close that race was. I mean, Lucifer cut him out the, out the hole, but man, couldn't hold him out on the other end. And that, that was some people had said. I think I had talked to him. Said, man, that that that, that wasn't that horsepower, you know? Ah, oh, the whole war, horsepower, out, you know what I'm saying? Man, that was photo finish that though. I'm talking about, man. Look here. That's why I said it was good to have it at the um, 660, you know, to catch that, you know. You driving, man. Eh? Oh, he did a, did a damn. Ooh, yeah. You might have messed up. Truck fast. Truck fast. Ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. You had to go get him. No, I treat him. Treat him. But he rolled up on me. Once we got out about 200 feet, yeah, it was over. I mean, we outweigh him about 800 pounds, so yeah, he's yeah. gonna be down low. Yeah. But once we got on out, no, I didn't. I didn't just cap the crap no, out of him. I don't know how far it was, but yeah, but uh, but yeah, that's something. Hey, he's tough. I knew it. That's something. It ain't it. no slouch. I knew it. That's I knew a it. fast small block truck. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We happy. I know it. Nothing long, wrong with a little luck. I'm I know it. I know it. <laughs>
Hey, that thing folded all the way over. Was looking at the October thirty first. Back at steel. Claudette, we're getting the back tie from Calm. Oh yeah. It's one thing about the Wayne. We'll try some. Oh yeah. You offer it, and I take it. Yeah, Ricky was one of them, Dwayne. Back tie from Karma, which at this point, Karma was considered the number one G-body in the land. The proven G-body. It was a lot of other G-bodies out there. But Karma was the number one G-body out there. Proven. The rest on is here. He say, she say. Some say they the baddest. Some say they want, but Karma was the proven bad car you know what I'm saying one one in there's knocking you know well nobody else stepping up to the plate I mean yeah, it got to the point where Carmel was really running he was running out of his class week after week so you know yeah they were the first two down the track as soon as the track went hot straight off the ramps that was, that was what I was talking about two grudges they finna get it on man yeah Here we go. Bad tie. Bad tie. Call that against the bad tie. We got one bulb on. Got one bulb on. Got one bulb on. Oh, they had took that that back tie yeah i mean what he what karma gave he couldn't couldn't get back yeah it looked like he was, it was a tree job right there and then now we'll, you know <laughs> one and one man that was pretty impressive there he did what could no other g-body do beat karma Now that same night, these two met the first round of the shootout. Man, they, they, they weren't done with each other. Yeah, the same night, first round of the shootout. Here we go, Karma versus Claudette again. I mean, <laughs> I, I guess all night long. Karma versus Claudette. Get up. In the shootout. Good Lord! Good Lord! 
motherfucker got y'all. Good. Uh, Carl, what kind of game you playing out there? Man, all I can say is, goodness gracious, man! I guess you know Claudette end up in the in the in the right lane, and man, I said, "Come or come up out of there, man!" Ooh, ooh. Karma had got his revenge from earlier that day. Strange, and then now you know he was up. Two to one, Sternberg, Ricky Sternberg. Karma ended up winning that three car shootout and decided, you know, to go back at Claudette. They decided to go head up this time. I, I said, man, three times in one day? You don't even normally see that. Ricky was up on Dwayne two to one. Dwayne decided, hey, you wanna try some head up? No karma. They love the grud. They ain't gonna turn down the race. They love this. This is what they do. Oh yeah. And it's about to go down for the final time that night. This was the last race of that night. You know. Head up. Who the baddest he about it in Alabama? Talk to you about it in Alabama. Calm in the far lane. Cloud head in the near lane. There you go. Claudette for the win. Man, Wayne came back swinging. Man, and they were now <laughs> two and two. Man, this is what I call a rivalry here. You know what I mean? Man, you swing, I swing. You know what I mean? Shoot. Hey, man. To me, this is one of the best, you know, Matchups, rivalries, or drivers, I could ever, I could have ever witnessed. <laughs> 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 May the 14th, 2021. Capital City, Friday night under the lights. Xanax versus Lil Red. Oh, y'all. This boy's about to get it on here.
Little Red for the win. Yeah, San Ace had been having problems all year long. Um, I don't think they ever found their way with it. But, you know, Little Red for the win. Don't. Ricky was now up for the two. Man. May the 22nd, 2021. Yeah. Karma. Back at it again in the MT by the shootout. Which Karma will be facing Gringo first round. Gringo was coming off this bad setting in Orlando. Well, that thing, well, he showed his tail down now. I mean, Karma, you know, Karma never really, you know, went to Orlando. So, you know, it's just a call from around here that if you bad, step up, you know. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't had a lot of test passes, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. All right, good luck. I he made bed, boy. He be laid back with that thing now. <laughs> Old Ricky be laid back, boy. I ain't telling no lie, boy. Me ain't being it, though, man. Karma for the win. Gringo came up short to Karma. Karma was now, Ricky was now up four to two. Man, we. Oh yeah, Karma ended up winning that shootout that night. Over sledgehammer, taking home all the money. September the 17th at Mo, Alabama. Shoot, it seemed like when both of them on the ground, something gonna have to shake. You know what I mean? This something there now, but you know, not not nothing like that. But it's something there. You know what I mean? Just the, the competitive rivalry between these two. Yeah. Classified. Was looking for Teflon Don. Oh, yeah. And they finna get it on. Now, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Now, this classified is a bad car now. Don't get this thing wrong now. Don't get this thing twisted now. You know what I'm saying? And, and this car was in the water box, waiting on Teflon done. I remember one guy had told me, he said, oh, I bet you. I bet you. I heard a guy tell He didn't tell me that. He told another guy that. I bet you Teflon don't show up. Bet you Teflon don't come around here and show up. I said, well, it, it, they ain't coming around to take no pictures. <laughs> and we headed around to go to war. Yeah. It's about to go down and it was the final race of the day you know what i mean like i said the robbery between these two can't it couldn't get no better hey man 
like I said, whatever these two on the same ground, they got to get it on. I mean, here it is, 2022. These guys done, you know, a whole year done passed by since they last met in May of 21. Now, it's, it's September 22. Yeah, they both on the same ground and they, they finna get it on. Teflon for the win. Man, classified went red. And man, yeah, they, boy, these car went down. They when I say went down there. Well, them car went down through there. Yeah, a lot of other cars wanna try to um, classify. A lot of them G bikes out there. They wanna look this car away. And I'm serious about that. Teflon for the win. They finished out with a record of four to three. Ricky Stamper up, you know what I mean? Four to three. But one thing I can say about this this competitive rival right here, man. A guy once asked me, "Do I think I'm in the best place for girls racing?" I never answered it. What I'm asking now, I know I'm in the perfect place for girls racing. Cause right here in the heart of the deep south, man, these boys getting it on. And the world know about it. To, to be racing under the radar of Dwayne Bearder and Ricky Stan, bro. Yeah, man, I, I can't be in no place, no battle. These two guys, the rivalry, the competitor, that these guys bring to the game. You, you got to be a, a champion to go after another champion, you know what I'm saying? Two bad boys facing off. That's why this made this one of the one of the competitive this face off I, I ever done. This is your boy, Dirty South, signing off. Until next time.